welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the August 2018 Ipsy Unbagging. Um, this is officially my 12th Ipsy bag. I've now gotten Ipsy for one year and I'm going to be doing a video on my experience with Ipsy and what I think about it and if it's worth the money. So stay tuned for that video. I'm not sure when that's going to go up yet, but just stay tuned for that. So let's get right in. All right, so this is what the bag looks like this month. It's like a light orange kind of corally color canvas material bag. And then it's got like a little leather, fake leather tassel. So, and let's see what the theme is for this month. It says confidence level selfie with no filter. So as usual, I've already seen the contents of the bag. For the last few Ipsy bags, I've just been unbagging and um, talking about the products and kind of like doing a mini review. Um, but, but I used to actually try on the products. So I'm actually going to do that for today's video again. I just felt like mixing it up. So um, I had to look ahead to see what was in there and um, some of the products I would not be able to use in the video. So I made sure to test them out before the video. So let's get right into it. So the first item is the Belief Believe in Truth, um, the True Cream Aqua Balm Increased Hydration Level um, Moisturizer. And that is what it looks like. It is 10 ml, which is 0.33 fluid ounces. And this is what it looks like. So it's a very light moisturizer, but it does hydrate your skin nicely. Um, it didn't feel heavy or anything like that. So I like it. And it's not, it doesn't really have a strong scent to it. It has some scent to it, but it doesn't smell like an artificial smell or anything like that. I don't know. And I honestly didn't notice the smell when I was wearing it. And I'm super sensitive to that. And I will normally notice but I could not smell this when I was wearing it. Um, so my skin has broken out a little bit the last few days. Um, I don't know if it's from this or if it's just, it might not be this. So I'm going to keep using it. And if I continue to have breakouts, then I'll know it's from this. But if they go away, then I'll know that it is just probably stress. The next item in the bag is a face wash. And it is by Murad. It's Age Reform AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. I'm really excited to have gotten this in the bag because I've never tried anything from them and I've heard they're a good brand. So that's exciting. Um, I'll be leaving prices for the full size of these products or possibly also prices of the trial size products um, if there's one available. Um, and I'll leave it just on the screen somewhere. So this is... Um, to use AM and PM massage over dampened face and neck, rinse and pat dry. And the nice thing about this face wash is it doesn't really have a smell to it, so that's really nice. Um, it was a good face wash. My face felt really clean, like deep cleaned from using this product. It has a little bit of an exfoliator in it, so it really cleans your skin. Um, and it looked that way after I was done washing it. The problem is it did feel... I don't want to say drying, but it's like pretty intense clean. So it's not something that I would use every day. If you have very oily skin, you could probably use this more than that. But if you have dry skin issues, but you just really want to deep clean, deep clean your skin every so often, I would recommend maybe using this once or twice a week. But other than that, it's definitely not something I'm going to be using every day and especially multiple times a day. So those are my thoughts on that. But I will continue to use it and see how I like it. So the next item in the bag is by Bang Beauty. And it is a little eyeshadow palette. And this palette is called Smoky. And that's what the packaging looks like. Super cute. And look inside. Now, to be honest, when I got this, I thought this would be a single eyeshadow, and so when I opened it, I was very surprised to see that it was actually a quad. And those are, I would say, fairly decent pan sizes. Like, they're not tiny. So, come on and do a look. Uh, 
So before I jump into that palette, I'm going to do a base color on my eyes, and I'm going to use the Wet n Wild um, the Singles Eyeshadow. It is in the color Brulee, Brulee, and I'm going to try that on. I have this one in my favorites video. I really love this one. Okay, so they're all kind of shimmery shades, and I didn't grab a different eyeshadow palette to use with this, so we're just going to wing it. And I'm going to go in with this color in the corner here. I don't know if you can see it. This one right over here. Um, and that's just going to go in my crease. Did I say my inner corner? I don't know. Guys, I'm tired. Um, we've had a lot going on this month. And I'm hoping to do an update video at some point. I don't know when. Because it will probably still be busy for the next bit. But, um, yeah, I hope to do an update video sooner rather than later. And no, I'm not pregnant. I feel like that's, like, the first guess that people usually have. But that's not it. So that's that color in the crease. Um, the sun went away for a bit, so it's kind of dim in here now. But we're going to carry on. So I'm going to take a thinner, so to apply that I used my favorite um, fluffy blending brush and now I'm going to go in with something a little bit more concise and it is a little bit of a smaller tapered blending brush, I don't know if you can see that. I also got this one in my ACA. So the next color I'm going to go in with is this deep color right in the corner there and I'm just going to put that in the outer V area. It's quite dark so see how this works. So that is the darker shade there in the outer V area. Um, and then I'm just going to go in with this little, what is it called? It doesn't say, but I use it for like lining my eyes. It's by Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to dip into that um, dark shade and use it to line my lower lash line. So I've lined my lower lash line and I'm trying to use all the colors. Um, I don't know if they'll go together, but okay, I'm going to use this, I think it was like a purpley shade, yeah, right over there. And I'm going to just pop that on my lid. I'm going to use my finger because I feel like it'll apply more like foiled or shimmery looking. So. I'll be back. Okay, so I actually like how that look turned out, um, but just for the sake of using all the colors, I'm going to dip into this last one here and kind of just put it in like the inner corner. Um, that purple shimmery shade I put um, on like the first half of the eye, like the inner area here on the lid, and um, now I'm just going to put this one into the inner corner. Alright, so I'm just going to use this brush. It's by e.l.f. It is the blending eye brush. I'm just going to use that to pop that last shade into the corners of my eyes. Alright, I didn't put a ton on so you can barely see it. But um, the colors are actually pretty pigmented when they go on. I like the look that I was able to do with this. And I only used this palette to do my eyes except for my transition or base color, um, which was this one. So you will need something to start off as a base. But other than that, you can do a full look with this. And I, I kind of like it. So that was um, the second last item. I've never actually heard of Bang Beauty, I don't think. So, again, another perk of having the Ipsy bag. You get to try brands that you probably wouldn't have otherwise. And it's actually... It's actually a cute little palette. This would actually be really nice for traveling with. Like if you're traveling somewhere and you don't want to take a huge one or just to leave in your purse if you want to quickly pop on some makeup, that might be good for that. All right, sorry, I lied. That was not the second last item. There's two more items. So now the second last item is item, and it is by Thrive Cosmetics. It is the Legend Lash Extension Mascara. It's supposed to give you length and volume. It says Orchid Stem Cell Complex. So the packaging is cute. I like the turquoise color. 
Um, developed with orchid stem cell complex and flake-free liquid fiber technology. That sounds good. Um, liquid lash extensions mascara. And there's a little picture on it. I don't know if you can see. Um, just what it's supposed to look like. And the color is Brin, which is a rich black color. Can I open this? Oh, there we go. Wait, no. It doesn't want to open. Got it. It's all good. Can you tell I'm sleep deprived? And that is what the bottle looks like. I really hope this is in the shot. I can't see. But I like the color of the packaging. It is cute. So I'm going to go put this on off camera because I'm not talented enough to put mascara on on camera. So I'll see you in a few. Oh, wait, before I do that, that is what the applicator looks like. I don't know if you can see that. So now I'll be back. All right, so I put on the mascara. As usual, I got some on my eyelid. That's no fault of the mascara. I literally do that no matter what mascara it is. So, and I didn't take any Q-tips with me, so I can't fix it, but we're just gonna roll with it. So it went on really nicely and easily. It's um, a very bendable um, applicator. I talk with my hands, I can't help it. Um, it did lengthen them. Like for me, this is a pretty long lash because I have short stubby lashes. So I like how it lengthened them. It didn't do a ton for volume. Um, I feel like I definitely have other mascaras that give me a lot more volume, but I feel like it did a pretty good job. It doesn't feel clumpy or anything. It feels nice. So, um, I don't hate it. I'll definitely use it. And it was nice for the lower lash line because it wasn't such a thick wand. So yeah, I'm actually excited to try this one out. I think it looks good. And all right. So the last item in the bag is by Makeup Forever and it is a artist color pencil. And the color is 606 Wherever Walnut. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a brown color. It is brown, not light brown. It is brown. Um, and it appears, just by looking at the packaging, because it doesn't say much, it has a picture of like a face and eyes. I don't know. That's showing up. So I'm assuming that this is something you can use on your eyes and lips. And I will look into that and I'll correct myself. So right now we're going to say it's for eyes and lips. If it's not, Editing Lisa will add a note somewhere here. So let's check it out. So that's what it looks like. It is a wooden pencil, which I gathered already from the packaging. And let's see how it swatches. Ooh, it's really smooth. So that's nice. And that's the color. So I'm going to use it as a lip liner today. And I'll be back in a minute once I've applied that. All right, so there it is. I lined my lip with it and then kind of shaded in my lip as well. It's actually a nice nude color. I really like it. Um, it is a little bit pokey to put it on, as you would expect a wooden liner to be, but it really wasn't too bad, and it actually goes on very nicely and very smooth. Um, so, yeah, I like this. I'll probably use this a lot. Um, because it's a really nice color. All right, so that is it for this month's Ipsy bag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. What did you guys all get in your Ipsy bags? If you've been wanting to try Ipsy, I'll have a link for it in the description. So that is it for me for today. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.